I'm going to play you Joy to the World from the Trinity College Grade 1 book for 2020. So there you are, Joy to the World, written by George Frederick Handel in the early part of the 18th century in a period which is called the Baroque period of music. Uh, Handel very famously wrote the Hallelujah Chorus, the Water Music and Music for the Royal Fireworks. Um, the piece is described as festive with a pulse of crotchets between 120 and 130 per minute, per minute so quite quick. Um, and it's a very celebratory melody, it's, it's become a Christmas carol, um, it's a very bright tune. Uh, it's in the key of A major which has three sharps and if you look at just under the word fest, if you've got a Roman numeral two which means we're playing the second position which means we're going to play the C sharps, if there are F sharps here, with the first finger A's. And that means your little finger is ready in position to play the A, the key note, at the fifth fret up here. Um, so your fingers are nat naturally in second positions, fit nicely in the key of A major. Um, dynamics for the piece we're starting mezzo forte uh, for the first phrase, building to forte for the second phrase, little diminuendo at uh, the eighth, end of the eighth bar, beginning of the ninth bar, crescendoing back up all the way up to forte um, for the end of the third phrase, um, and then we're just we're using dynamics all the way through. Then we're going mezzo forte down to piano, back up to mezzo forte, um, up to bar twenty, and then we're finishing our last four bars in a big forte with a rallentando. Um, to, sh to give us the big finish. Um, now there's um, one of the important elements of this piece to me are the rests in the bass line. Um, now there are many of them but some of the more important ones are if you look at bar number 14, 16, 19 and 22 there is a full bar rest underneath the stave there. So the bass note is completely stopped in those for the whole bar. So you, um, I think before all of them you've played an A. Uh, yeah. So you're going to put your thumb back down on that A string for those bars so there's no bass notes. The melody is standing on its own for the whole bar each time there. Um, and that's what the arranger has written it as, so that's what we should endeavour to do. Uh, another couple of bars with interesting rests, bar 7 and bar 23, uh, exactly the same as each other. Um, so the melody in these bars is a minim C sharp and a minim B. But the bass underneath it is chopped, so you've got nothing on the first beat and then a bass E on the second and the fourth beats. Okay, so we've got. We're going to try and stop that note each time. So the melody line's ringing through, but the bass is. It's got, it's, has, a, has a gap. It has two gaps. Okay? Now, again, it, it sort of brings the melody line into a more prominent position when you do that. Um, 
and I think if you try and do those, um, that will sound great. So enjoy practicing that one.